Great scientific step forward, although getting your feet wet would be considered just as satisfying for any sun seeker who succumbs to the persuasive charm of an island like Mykonos. It's a short sea trip from Athens, yet there's a Dutch flavor about the water windmills which twirl in the Mediterranean breeze. There are tourists, but not enough to completely commercialize the old fisherman who makes his souvenirs with pride and patience. Nothing seems to have yet shaken the islanders out of their leisurely stride, and even a pelican can feel happily at home. Except that this is no ordinary pelican. It's like a fairy tale how Petros the pelican suddenly arrived on Mykonos. He came uninvited, and obviously liked the get-away-from-it-all atmosphere. That was some years ago, and now he's claimed the freedom of the island. You see, it really isn't a tourist gimmick. You're just as likely to see Petros in a downtown bar as you are around any street-side store. There's warmth and generosity about the Mekonite, which a visitor cannot fail to appreciate. Petros knows it too, because he has to rely on this for his food. When a pelican becomes domesticated, it's just too much to expect him to go on catching fish. not so much as a do you mind before stepping inside. In fact, he's so independent that when kindly islanders found him a mate, Petros showed not the slightest interest in settling down. You'd think he'd show a bit of appreciation for all this kindness. Not Petros. He just wants to waddle off and see what else he can scrounge to eat. Most tourists stand and stare when Petros pads his way around the white wall streets, yet, not surprisingly, the islanders take it all for granted. They know that by now, his thirst for lazy living has overcome all pelican instincts.